good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Jenna and I'm very excited to be joining you on Facebook Live as we talk about the profit opportunities for you to have this holiday season. And it's kind of crazy to think that we're already talking about the holidays and the profit opportunities around each of these holidays with Halloween just finishing up, but it's really impor important as an apparel decorator to uh, kind of jumpstart and be prepared for everything that you can offer for your customers for the holiday. All right, this is the season that our customers are ready to buy and look for unique gifts to offer. And we really wanna be, make sure we're on top of that and ready and prepared for any type of request coming from your customers. Now, before we dive further into that discussion, let's take a look at this week's look of the week. This was submitted by Patricia Hoover. And I really love this one. It really stood out to me because they actually created this custom t-shirt and used a Plastisol ink transfer, uh, such as Goof Proof, if you're familiar with screen print transfers from our screen printing division, Transfer Express. And they just heat applied this onto that custom t-shirt they created. And they're making these unique uh, items for Elf on the Shelf. And I just thought this was such a unique idea to be able to offer things like this around the holiday season so that you can personalize things um, and make them more personable to you. So uh, this was a really unique idea. I really love this, Patricia. Thank you so much for sharing. If you guys have a really uh, great ideas of things that you're doing with your, heat pre with your heat press, you can share those with us on Facebook. Um, every Saturday, we do a show and tell where you can upload uh, the designs that you're creating and share with us what products you've used and little tips and tricks of how others can recreate that as well. You can also share them with us on Instagram at Stalls Heat Printing. All right, some other announcements that we have. Um, we have some upcoming shows for you to attend. So if you haven't uh, had the chance to attend a trade show yet, we have one this coming weekend in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the MBM show where we're doing a lot of different uh, print technologies. So we'll have a booth there showing heat printing and a lot of new items. But there will be a lot of different people on the show floor showing print technologies, um, anything from car wraps and very large format printing, um, all down to heat printing and screen printing and things like that. So if you're looking to make it to a trade show, uh, we will be there. Uh, some other things that are upcoming is the webinar on November 13th. Uh, this is all you need to know about custom logos. Uh, so if you haven't had a chance to make it to one of our webinars yet, uh, I believe Josh Ellsworth will be hosting this. Well, he'll be discussing uh, everything about custom logos and how you can profit with um, this simple thing that we offer for our customers. And uh, then we have a workshop Wednesday this month as well, November 20th, where we'll be discussing artwork 101 and 201. All right, so you can see over in the left-hand corner uh, all of the locations that we'll be hosting this workshop. We have Stalls Arizona, California, Florida, Michigan, Texas, and Transfer Express, which is in Mentor, Ohio. So if you guys are looking to um, kind of further um, your graphic abilities, then we will be doing your artwork 101 and 201. You can go to these classes separately. I think you get the most benefit out of doing them as a bundle though. So if you can attend the morning and afternoon classes, that's really gonna help you dive deep into some more information you need to know to kind of take your designs to the next level. All right, that's more of an entry level class. Uh, so feel free to attend to, just to learn some basics. All right, so I see some of you guys uh, commenting in. Hi, Craig, Gina, Daryl, everyone. Thank you guys so much for commenting in. It's always exciting to see who's all joining me and where you guys are joining from. So if you haven't done that yet, feel free to comment. Um, we are going to be doing some really unique applications today. Uh, so if you have any questions throughout, whether it's where the garment was sourced or what heat transfer vinyl I'm using or maybe just some application instructions, Feel free to comment those in throughout and I will answer those questions as we go along. All right, so 
Back to our topic. So it's important to think about what items that we can offer our customers for the holiday season. Like I mentioned earlier, and you guys already know this, everyone's really ready to buy during the holiday season. They're prepared for everyone they need to purchase gifts from, um, but they always wanna be able to find something a little more personable or something that you can't just get uh, from a standard retail store, right? So we're gonna be honing in on the profit opportunity you have from adding personalization to gifts so that you can increase sales as opposed to just selling a blank item. And not only is that important to you as an apparel decorator, but it's also important because you, your customers are going to be looking for something more personable that shows the person that they're buying for uh, that they went the extra mile. They didn't just buy a blank garment or a graphic tee or uh, just a basic accessory. They actually, had it personalized specific to the person they're giving the gift for, which makes the gift giving experience even better uh, for those that really love that for the holidays. All right, and you're able to capitalize on these retail sales because you're an apparel decorator. You have everything you need at your hands to be able to add personalization uh, to very unique items or garments that your customers come in and have requests for. All right, so, when you're thinking about the uh, print technology that you want to use, heat printing is going to be um, the easiest way to do personalization, in addition to vinyl cutting as well. So if you do have a vinyl cutter, it's very easy to just load in your heat transfer vinyl, simply cut out a name or a monogram or whatever you're personalizing with, um, and just cut that out and do onesie, twosie types of things with. All right, you're also able to um, open the doors to a lot of different uh, effects that you can create these personalized things with. So we have flock, glitters, uh, chroma bling, which is a new heat transfer vinyl uh, that we just launched a, launched a few months back. Um, but that even adds more profit opportunity because you're able to offer all of these different finishes as well. Today specifically, we're gonna be working with Flock 2 because I love the finish that it gives um, on high-end items. So the first item we're going to be personalizing is this Sherpa garment, all right? And Sherpa, uh, we're seeing this everywhere in retail now. It's a very uh, popular fabric um, and it's very, um, it has a high pile. So you wanna be um, specific with the type of transfer you wanna to apply to this garment because it is a very thick garment. It does have a very high pile on it. If you're not familiar with Sherpa, um, it's a very soft fabric, but it's a cotton polyester base. Um, so we're able to use heat transfer vinyl on this, but you wanna consider what heat transfer vinyl you're using. So for this, we're going to be using our Flock 2 product because it has that um, velvet-like finish that really mimics the look uh, of embroidery because it adds dimension, it looks higher end, and it's going to increase the perceived value of this garment um, as opposed to just a flat matte heat transfer vinyl. All right, yes, uh, Patrice, I love Sherpa as well. I wish I could keep this garment for myself, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how to heat, heat apply this with our Hotronics Auto Clam. So you see here, um, I have the Auto Clam raised up on our counter caddy so that we have a lot of space underneath here. When we're working with thick items like this, we wanna make sure we're able to isolate the certain area that we wanna heat apply. Um, for that reason, we ha also have loaded on here the four by four platen, all right? So we're able to get the dimensions we need to apply the left chest logo of this graphic. So I'm going to unzip my Sherpa garment uh, so that I can uh, isolate that left chest area that I wanna personalize. And this particular garment from Boxer Craft, um, it actually has a jersey, like a vintage jersey seam here. Um, so I wanna make sure that that is completely off the platen so that it's not causing uneven pressure. So I'm taking that seam and dropping it behind the four by four platen. And so that this doesn't move on me, I'm just gonna tuck everything else underneath that heat press. Right, and because this is something that will be laundered, we are going to do a quick preheat. I'm gonna grab my craft paper. And this is also going to allow me to test my pressure with the four by four. All right, so we're at a very light pressure, so I'm gonna increase that a bit. All 
All right, and that's gonna preheat for me. And as I was testing um, my temperature earlier, I did leave uh, the press on the temperature. So right now we're only um, heated up to uh, 200 degrees. So we are going to have to wait there a little bit uh, for that to heat back up to the 300 degrees. Um, now, while we're waiting for that, uh, it should just take us um, about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to let that sit there and heat up. We're gonna talk about some of the other items we have here. All right, so, um, the next garment that we're going to be heat applying and we're going to be using this uh, with flock to is vegan leather all right and this is sourced from a uh, wholesale boutique all right and they have a brand that they resell called vivin lou and what they do very well is um, faux leather that looks like real leather and feels like real leather it has the same texture um, and feel that a real leather product ha would have which gives us a very high perceived value. So whenever you're thinking about uh, the different products you wanna offer for the season, take time to consider what's going to be most profitable for you. All right, so anything that you're really seeing in retail, so if you go to the mall um, or your strip mall or whatever and see what they're offering for the holidays, how can you incorporate that uh, for the holiday season and add more profit opportunity for this? So I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to personalize this item uh, so that it's not going to melt underneath that high heat. So um, whenever you're working with heat transfer vinyl, we know that everything has a recipe for it. So um, if I'm applying um, fashion film or glitter flake on this, it's gonna range anywhere from 300 to 320 degrees, which means that this item could potentially melt underneath that heat. So what we need is a special accessory, which I'm going to be showing you during the application of how we can personalize this with a heat press and um, get a high, or a very nice finish with it without compromising uh, the finish of this because we wouldn't want this melting. All right, Gina commented, I have a customer waiting, um, wanting Sherpas with full color logo gradients. Would that, what would be the best transfer to use? Um, anytime you're working with Sherpa because it does have a very high pile with it, um, you wanna consider what type of transfer, transfer is going to be the best because you want something that's gonna stand out on the garment but it's not going to um, devalue the garment. So if I were considering a full color transfer that I would wanna use for my Sherpa garments, I would want something that has dimension um, that isn't going to look um, or devalue the garment. So uh, we do have a transfer, it's called uh, Cad Prince Twill, and uh, you're able to get that full color um, ability, any gradients or anything that you need in that, and it's still gonna give you that dimension. Um, so for a lot of people that are doing custom printing on Sherpa, they're doing either embroidery or um, to get their full color logos, but they're limited on the amount of detail and the gradients that they d get with their embroidery. With Cad Prince Twill, you're able to get that embroidered effect or look uh, because we're taking your logo and printing it onto that twill and you can get to that um, high perceived value with the twill and still give that um, very high end look that they're seeing now with embroidery. All right, so I would definitely uh, go with Cad Prince Twill if you want to do full color with Sherpa. All right, our heat press is at about 240. We need it to jump at least 60 degrees, so we'll move on to uh, the next product that we're gonna be uh, heat pressing. All right, and then we will do all the demonstration. So the next product we have is our um, flannel here. And I specifically chose this flannel because it is buffalo plaid. All right, so if you are familiar um, with the buffalo plaid and the trend and impact that it's had um, on the uh, printed apparel industry, um, then you probably are, have already started incorporating this into your offering. If you haven't, then uh, this is definitely something you want to start, start incorporating. And you can see here, um, we already have the blank garment that has the buffalo plaid, but you're also able to achieve buffalo plaid in a lot of your designs. So you can see here, we paired it with glitter flake and our patterns. So we offer patterns in buffalo 
that and you're able to get this in any color that you desire. So with our CAD cut patterns, you're able to select the stock pattern that we have and you can choose all of the colors that go into that pattern. So whether you want it to be red and black or white and black or orange and black for the uh, early fall season, you're able to do that. And we also recommend some of the popular colorways that we see trending in there as well. All right, and this is another garment that we created by pairing buffalo plaid and glitter flake as well. So this is something that has been trending a lot um, for uh, some of the graphic tees for the holidays. Um, and I actually did a video on um, how to apply this so that you're getting the best application. But you can see here we did the tree in green glitter flake and we did the black glitter flake for the wheels in the shadow of the truck and then the truck was done completely in that buffalo plaid pattern. So this is a really popular uh, way to also incorporate buffalo plaid as opposed to just buying garments that already have that pattern throughout it. All right, but I um, see this being um, a trend that's gonna keep continuing. We see it mostly uh, with our holidays, uh, but I think it goes more into the winter seasons as well. So we'll definitely um, be personalizing this uh, and talking about profit opportunity for each. All right, so we are up to 270. And um, this is going to need just about five more minutes to um, heat up, but I do want to highlight a couple other things that are a great opportunity for the holiday. Uh, so we have a t-shirt uh, that we did as well, and this is going to uh, show a mixture of the holiday patterns that we offer. So if you're looking for a unique way uh, to um, spice up or um, change up the way that you're doing just basic text graphics. Patterns is a very simple way to do that, especially if you have a vinyl cutter and you're able to just create a lot of mixed uh, media designs. All right, so there we did fashion film as the contour. I will say one of the best practices with these designs is being able to create a contour around it so that the um, the letters or graphic really stand out. Uh, and anytime you do a contour, you want to choose um, a great um, contrasting color to go with it. And because we were already going on a dark garment, I needed that contour to be a little bit darker, so we went with black fashion film for that. All right, so um, we're up to 280, which is a high enough temperature for us to start uh, heat applying. Uh, but because I am um, working with Sherpa and Flock 2, I'm going to um, make sure that we are using the right accessories here. So we already discussed uh, having that um, 4x4 platen on there. And uh, anytime you're working with Sherpa, you want to be careful of um, scorching or anything. So we already did uh, the preheat. Because it was only at 200 degrees there, I am going to preheat one more time since it just kind of sat. All right, and my pressure is at a medium. All right, so that will read anywhere between a four and a six at the press. And I'm just taking my flock and making sure I'm nice and lined up on the garment. That seam that this garment has makes it very easy for getting that alignment on there pretty nicely. But I do want to get pretty close to that seam so that my monogram isn't dropping too low on the garment. All right, and flock two applies at um, 330 degrees for 18 seconds. So I'm going to increase my temperature here. And I'm only at 295, so we're gonna cross our fingers in hopes, this, in hopes that this works. <laughs> All right, so um, typically, I, I, I have no doubt that this will actually apply. Um, I'm, at a right, I'm at a good temperature. My full 18 seconds is on there. I'm near to uh, 300 degrees. Uh, but just because it applies and it's on there once you're done heat uh, pressing it, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to hold up in the wash. So if um, this were to happen in any other case, um, I would have waited for that to, th to get to 330 degrees. Now later, uh, if I know this is going to be laundered, what I'll do is take it back, 
reheat apply it uh, for the full 18 seconds at 330 degrees as opposed to the 295. Now this is a cold peel, so we're gonna wait for that to cool down and we'll come back to that to peel the carrier. But we're gonna move on to the next application, which is the vegan leather. Um, before we do that, I do have a graphic I wanna show you so that you can see the profit potential you have in, off in offering a personalized garment su such as Sherpa with personalization. So you can see here at, um, for the blank Sherpa garment, it costs $20.90. And that's just the blank garment alone. And um, whenever you are working uh, with this, um, and it's just blank, and you're just going to sell that, it's $25 to $35 just blank, okay? Uh, so if you're researching and you're looking at Sherpa garments, uh, that's roughly how much a blank Sherpa garment will sell for. So you can get some profit opportunity there, especially if you're in the right market for it, but you can increase your profit opportunity more so uh, if you are adding the personalization. So uh, you can see the price jump from 2090 to 2134 there. That is just showing you what the blank garment costs in addition to uh, labor and overhead and the price point of how much that transfer was to cut weed and heat apply. All right, so my sell price for this is going to be 40 to 50. So I want you to take into consideration that these prices can certainly vary uh, based off of your demographic uh, that you're selling your apparel to, but this just gives you an idea of what it looks like for profit opportunity to add personalization to high-end items such as the Sherpa garment. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the vegan leather, um, and I will revisit some of the questions I see coming in. All right, so with the uh, vegan leather garment, um, what's great about Viv and Lou is they're really good about keeping the decorator in mind. Uh, so what they did was created this uh, nice cell phone crossbody, which is uh, trending a lot in the retail space. Uh, but this is an easy way for you to be able to incorporate this into the um, apparel decorator space. So uh, what's nice about this is they created that uh, little snap button, um, but that's going to drop right off of the 4x4 plat, and we're going to hold this in place so that's not causing uneven pressure. But as I mentioned earlier, um, you are going to need a special accessory for this sort of application because it is um, something that could melt under high heat. So we're gonna be working with this flexible application pad. It's just basically a silicone pad that's gonna protect the leather from melting so that you can get a great application here without compromising the finish of the vegan leather. Um, if I were to just heat apply this, you would notice a big silky mark um, and that would not be appealing um, or even purchasable at that point. All right, so for this application, we're gonna, going to be using CAD cut glitter flake. All right, so you can see that that has a true glitter finish. And what's nice about this heat transfer vinyl, if you haven't worked with it before, is that you're able to get a um, nice glitter finish without it actually flaking off or transferring onto other things. And you'll notice that I chose a um, color that is uh, kind of two-tone for this bag. Um, and I did that specifically because I want to uh, keep uh, the look of the bag. And um, even though I'm adding glitter to it, I want it to be as subtle as possible. All right, so I'm going with a color that's going to um, look like it's part of the bag as opposed to something just stuck on there like a sticker or something. So whenever you're considering how you want to um, apply these, um, you want to think about uh, the type of transfer, uh, not only the type of transfer, but also the sort of color. All right, and I'm going to lock this down one more time, maybe. Let me decrease my pressure here. There we go. All right, so um, this is going to apply for the double time that you would for glitter flake. So glitter flake applies for 10 seconds and you would need to get a uh, 20 second application anytime you're working with the flexible application pad. So anytime you have this accessory, uh, just make a mental note that you want to increase your temperature an additional uh, 10 seconds anytime you work with that. Now glitter flake is a hot peel so I can go ahead and peel that transfer back. 
and you'll see that that added that perfect personalization and that great effect that we want for um, a personalized gift. Uh, even though glitter was added to it, it doesn't devalue it or uh, make it something that uh, someone wouldn't want to buy because we want to avoid things looking like a sticker, all right? We want to keep the value. So choosing a color that's more subtle um, with the type of bag that you're applying is a great way to go and a better way to offer profit opportunity, right? And you can see that it's going to uh, match the uh, accessory or the hardware of this bag as well so that it's more of one piece, all right? So let's take a look at how much this profit opportunity comes in at, all right? So we have $11.50. So if you're just um, purchasing from Wholesale Boutique, that's how much this crossbody phone bag uh, would cost. And you can sell this anywhere for 15 to 18 blank. Um, now, if you are researching this and finding them going anywhere between 45 and 50, that's because they're using real leather for that. Um, unfortunately, although this vegan leather does look like real leather, uh, people just aren't willing to pay that much for a faux leather type of bag. Now, if you want to increase profit opportunity even more, um, you'll see that you can add the personalization very easily as we just did, and that's going to increase our profit opportunity from 15 to 18 to 25 to 30 with that personalization. And we only cr increased our um, cost to produce uh, by just a few cents there um, from 11.50 to 11.95. So it doesn't cost much for you to um, have to uh, cut heat transfer vinyl and apply it, especially if it's just those one-off gift personalization type things, okay? So um, I see some comments coming in, so I just want to uh, take a look at that. Uh, Mike asked, just need to find a Canadian supplier for the Sherpa apparel. I will keep a look out on that, especially for you. All right, and Josh, thank you for sharing with us today. Thanks for joining me. All right, it doesn't look like there are any questions, but some really great comments. All right, thank you guys. Glad to see you like our patterns. I love them too. All right, so our last application is going to be the flannel. All right, so whenever, and this is a very simple, uh, basic application, um, and it's just a cotton uh, blend, so you have a lot of opportunity to add the personalization. These do sell blank a lot in uh, retail, but of course we wanna build more profit off of this opportunity here. So what unique placements can we press with this garment so that we're not just doing the standard left chest logo or anything that someone can already buy in retail? All right, so you wanna kind of think outside the box when it comes uh, to placement with some of these items. So we definitely have the ability to do uh, just the pocket if we wanted to, but I don't wanna just stick to the standard application. So for this, I'm gonna be doing that low left hem application. And I'm also going to be using flock as well because that is the best way to mimic the look of embroidery by just using a heat press. All right, and the color that we're using, again, I'm keeping it very subtle so it doesn't look like it's just something stuck on there like a sticker. This is a charcoal finish, so I'm doing more of a tone on tone effect here and I'm going to go in that lower left hem uh, pocket that's there, or edge. All right, and for this, I'm just gonna grab my craft paper. All right, and it's gonna count down at that uh, time for me. While we're waiting for that to count down, um, let's head over to the Sherpa garment and we can go ahead and pull that carrier back. All right, so whenever I am removing this carrier, you'll notice that I'm not taking it how I typically do from the bottom uh, left corner and across. I'm actually gonna start from the top and peel down because I don't want this to be distorted in any way. So, I'm taking the top of the carrier and working my way down, making sure I'm not peeling too fast, again, because I don't want that to be distorted. All 
going nice and slow. May have to repress, we will see. All right, so we did get a successful application there. Uh, but because this doesn't have uh, that really premium, pristine look that I want, because we did apply it at that really low temperature of 290 degrees, and this is supposed to have that 330 degree application, I am going to take this back to the press just because I want to show you that you can get a very premium look and feel with the Flock 2 on the Sherpa. So we'll head over here. The Flock 2 for the Buffalo plaid flannel is going to come off to the side so that can cool down. And you'll notice that because I'm hitting this a second time at the accurate uh, application instructions, we're not going to be uh, affecting that in a negative way at all. So we can just load that right back on and press it for that accurate application. All right, so it's at the 330 degrees. Now, I'm not going to uh, put it on there for the full time. It doesn't need to apply again for another 18 seconds. So I just did that standard 10 seconds, right? And that allowed that adhesive to sink down a little further into uh, that design. So it's not something that's just sitting on top of the Sherpa. All right, so now we have that nice premium look with this. And we didn't have to embroider it. We didn't have to spend a bunch of time of, um, hooping this and embroidering this and making sure uh, that we were able to add the personalization. So a uh, very quick and easy way to still get a very premium look with Sherpa for the holidays. All right, now let's go ahead and remove the carrier for the Flock 2 on our flannel. You'll notice that that was a lot easier to peel back because we're not working with a high pile there. You can see that that is a nice, very subtle way to add personalization on the garment so that they're able to pair this um, with just about anything there. All right, so uh, reason being I didn't go with something that really popped off of the garment for this is because flannels are uh, often used for um, a layered type of outfit where it's going over a graphic tee or maybe under the Sherpa or something like that. So I didn't want to, um, make it specific to what type of color they could pair with it. So if we're keeping the color scheme the same for this, they're able to utilize uh, this garment with a lot of other things. All right, so that gives you an idea of all the profit opportunity that you have available to you um, for the holiday season. Now, before we wrap up, I'm just going to um, reiterate where these garments were sourced from so that you have uh, easy access to these. All right, so this is from Boxer Craft. If you don't have a wholesale account specifically with them, they do resell through SNS Activewear. All right, so this is a very premium night nice Sherpa. It's not anything where there's a bunch of stuff like coming off or wanting to transfer to other clothes. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So very nice premium Sherpa garment is Boxer Craft. This is Burnside. Okay, so this is a very nice flannel. It actually has that true flannel texture to it, um, and it's very soft. So customers will really love this, especially if they're in an area where they need to keep warm and everything. So uh, Burnside, again, uh, if you don't have a wholesale account with them specifically, they are also sold uh, through SNS Activewear. All right, and lastly, we have that vegan leather crossbody that we personalized with Glitter Flake. Uh, this was sourced from Wholesale Boutique. And uh, the brand is Vivin Lou. So you can uh, source that through Wholesale Boutique. You do have to have a wholesale account with them. So do keep that in mind uh, whenever you're looking to source accessories like this. Okay. There are some comments. Uh, can you use fashion film on the Sherpa? Uh, Dusty, yes, you are able to use um, just about any heat transfer film with Sherpa, but what you want to keep in mind is the finish you want to achieve. So yes, fashion film will apply to this, but because it is a very thin matte finish, it may not have the same effect that the Flock 2 will. So just consider the type of dimension that you want to have on this uh, piece of apparel. Evelyn asks, how many colors of flock 
are there? That is a good question. I want to say anywhere from 12 to 15. Um, there may be a little bit more, give or take a few, but um, I'm not sure that exact number. But there is um, all your basic colors, and we even have some uh, bright like neon type colors as well, and some pastel. So take a look at that on the website, and you can see um, all the colors there that you're able to uh, access for these types of garments. All right, I think I've answered all the questions. If you guys happen to have any more, feel free to comment those in and I will revisit this broadcast. But thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.